So guys, since I got these two breath analyzing devices, I thought I'd just do a quick comparison. They're not really comparable because they do different jobs. The food marble finds um, things that you have food intolerances to, things that can give you an upset stomach, uh, conditions like IBS, can kind of track down what FODMAPs you are um, sensitive to by releasing, by detecting hydrogen. This one is the Lumen, and this kind of detects if you're burning fat or carbs. So you either release more carbon dioxide with fat or with carbs. I actually can't remember which way round it is. Um, any food that you eat, when it gets burned, you use the calorie for movement and the waste product is carbon dioxide. And that's how you can measure calories called an indirect calorimeter. This is a handheld, not quite version of an indirect calorimeter, but using one singular breath to pick up whether you are in a fat burning mode or you are in a carb burning mode. Um, just got this a couple of days ago, pre-ordered it back on Black Friday and we're now um, actually on the 1st of first of May. So um, got this on like the 27th of April. They're both cool devices. This one feels a little bit cheaper um, and I don't mean that in a mean way, it's just, it's just plastic and it's just cheap. Um, Cheap's just mean. It's just it's just a simple plastic device, has removable mouthpiece there. When you blow on it, absolutely perfect. It kind of traps your mouth perfectly. You blow into it. I've had no issues with the the actual blowing into it and getting a and getting a score. It also detects if it's too much moisture in the air. And I'll quickly just show you the case. That's the case and it has these wee kind of holes um, in it. Um, although the mouthpiece fits snug down at the bottom and the outlet gets covered really well and that's got a magnetic clip. I just worry about fluff getting kind of into there when it's in your pocket. I would have preferred a full seal, maybe just being picky. It's brand new so I don't know. Fluff in the pocket is an issue. With the Lumen, it comes with this little carry case which is uh, fully enclosed. Everything about Lumen is really nice quality. It's just a better quality feeling, has this kind of metal lid, this metal mouthpiece, a uh, nice little grid at the bottom, um, cool little light up sensor, cool little button. The only thing I don't like is when you're actually blowing into the device, it kind of the sides of your lips, you can kind of lose a little bit of air out of the side. I don't know if that's a design feature. Also with the condensation, this doesn't pick up any condensation, but it actually has like I don't know if you can see that, but little water droplets of condensation and it doesn't have any advice on that. So I don't know how it deals with that kind of condensation. And that condensation is coming from your breath and this could get, this could get a bit crazy after a while. Smelly, maybe, possibly. And um, it's got a nice kind of texture and feel to it. So the kind of comparison on these two devices isn't really fair because they do two different things, but I just want to kind of a usability. This one has far easier usability. You kind of blow into it for five seconds, a nice steady stream, haven't had any issues. With the Lumen, a lot of the reviews, if you look on the, on the App Store, are like, people are just really unhappy. It is quite tricky to breathe in. You've got to do a 10 second inhale, hold your breath. Uh, it's not even a 10 second inhale, it's a large inhale where you're kind of trying to get rings on the screen to connect and it's a full lung of air. Then you hold that for 10 seconds and then you got to hold a steady stream coming out and it does show you on the graph and I, I can get it pretty much 99% of the time now but it is quite tricky and I understand some people aren't that really well versed at breathing so it does take a little bit of practice. Also got to wait four weeks for your flex score which is kind of like how flexible you are with switching between fats and carbohydrates. It does give you some tangible advice. It is pretty cool. Nutritionist in your pocket. Again, a full review coming out for this. Just sort of do a cheeky little comparison between these two things. Which one should you get? Really depends on which thing you have the most trouble with. Um, I'm kind of swaying to the food marble if you could only get one at the minute, just because of food intolerances. Obviously, if you have no food intolerance or you don't think you have any food intolerances, um, then that one isn't going to be so good. This is really cool with the kind of feedback and stuff so far It, it gives you this is one is more expensive. Um, I think I Got it for under two hundred dollars plus a 40 pound uh, Customs charge on it um, Where the food marble is about 
150 ish if i do get any discount codes for these i'll pop them below but hang out and wait for the full review and again if you have any questions leave them below like and subscribe i've got some more fitnessy healthy gadgets uh, coming to test out in the near future